What's going on, y'all? It's your boy G, and today we're going to be covering none other than Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Now, going into this movie, I had one main question, and that was, will the Rocket storyline be able to carry the weight of not only being the finale of the trilogy, but also being James Gunn's last Marvel movie? Because up until this point, like both of the Guardians movies were mainly about peter yes we get to learn about all the other characters and like and everybody has their moments in guardians but the stories is always based around star lord so with that being said i'm not the biggest guardians fan so my expectations weren't like super crazy or anything but i still definitely enjoyed the movie this movie was a lot like when i say a lot like it was a lot man i mean animal lovers beware because this joint this joint gets tricky but overall, like it was full of, you know, emotions and laughs and a lot of heavy lore that I wasn't really expecting just based on what we seen prior to this in the first two movies. They definitely dropped a lot of gems in this joint. And then also it's a very cold opening. So if you haven't seen the Christmas special, I definitely recommend you see that because because we kind of just jump into things when this movie starts. So if you're not caught up on all the Guardians of the Galaxy lore and you only seen the first two movies, you're going to be like, how did how did we even get here? So personally, I wish I went and watched the Christmas special prior to seeing this just because it sets up not only this movie, but also some future content. But I wouldn't say nothing happens that's super crazy. That kind of distracts you from what's actually going on. But let's dive a little bit deeper and talk about the plot. So like I said earlier, man, this movie was a lot, right? And the same thing applies when we're talking about the plot and the pacing of this movie, because after we get the opening sequence of this movie, Adam Warlock shows up and puts the hammer down on Rocket. And that's what basically jump starts this movie. So with it having like somewhat of a chaotic content loop, which is something Guardians is known for, things seem to drag on a little bit in some places. Just because we would go from like high action packed scenes with a bunch of slow-mo and then like hard cut into some linear narrative that was kind of frustrating when I really think about it. Just because it could turn into like, you know, just a, a talking heads moment. And we go from seeing something really amazing to seeing something that's like, all right, when, when we're going to get back to what we're talking about, you know, because the storyline itself is very simple. The, the goal is to save rock, right? But what made it kind of worth it to watch was the addition of not only Adam Warlock, right? But the big bad of this movie, the high evolutionary, who is a really bad guy. Like it's, it gets tricky especially when we looking back into Rocket's memories and just seeing how Rocket be became the raccoon that he is. And especially why he hates being called a raccoon. Now, as far as like the fights and things like that, like I said earlier, they were dope, right? And you can definitely see the chemistry between all the characters and it really looks like they've been fighting together for a long time because each member had their moment, but it was also like teamwork at every level, right? With the exception of Gamora for obvious reasons, right? Because she's yes, a good fighter, that at this point hasn't regained all her memories and is kind of basically a new person. With shout out to Zoe Zaldana for this performance because the two Gamoras that we know are so drastically different, especially on screen. So when you add all of these elements into this one storyline that we kind of already can tell what the end goal should be, at least, we're kind of just waiting for those moments. And some of those dialogues that we have with all of the different characters can somewhat get lost in translation. But when I realized that this was happening, I finally kind of understood you know what guardians movies are all about like yes they progress in a chaotic way but that's just because it's just a big D, D campaign like don't get me wrong you could say any superhero movie is kind of just a big D, D campaign but the reason why i say that is because for guardians movies it's never about what's happening right it's about the conversations and the relationships that we get to see build over a common goal and then eventually somehow some way they're able to save the galaxy and then nobody is the wiser right but once i figured that out i really got a better appreciation for what the guardians movies are trying to do right other than just getting some cheap laughs now overall i think all the major plot points definitely hit the way that they needed to 
regardless of if you think it's cheesy or not they created a moment because like i said earlier bro we really, really, really saw some things now the high evolutionary is different bro like it's a different kind of evil man i can't you have to just see it for yourself i'm not gonna sit here and act like i didn't shed a couple tears in those pivotal moments bro because that jump was beautiful and rocket been through the mud bro like that joint was insane <laughs> So in conclusion, I definitely think that, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is definitely worth seeing in the theaters. The payoffs were great. Rocky's storyline did not disappoint. And the high evolutionary is the big bad, the main villain was phenomenal because of the way that they delivered his backstory it just showed how ruthless and cutthroat he is chasing something that is feasibly impossible like when you really sit down and think about his goals how little he cares about life at this point i'm sitting here thinking like i don't know who's worse him or thanos because at least thanos had like somewhat of a valid reason for doing the things that he did not to say that it was right or this was ever a real answer but you know he saw his home world you know perish and, and and starve and go through some of the worst things imaginable because of the lack of resources and overpopulation and things like that right but the high evolution they don't care about none of that bro <laughs> he destroyed a whole planet bro he destroyed a whole planet like it was nothing because he could just go make another one bro like <laughs> Oh my gosh, there were so many things going on in that planet, bro. From the different communities to the people selling drugs on the street. Like, forget the fact that he was able to take, like, regular animals and evolve them into, like, sentient beings. He said, I created something that had the ability to think either, even further than himself. But because I didn't save my notes, I might as well just get rid of the rest of them. Because they'll never be good enough. Like, what? Like, bro, who does that, man? Like, that's so crazy to me. I don't even really talk about his powers like that. Like, his powers are pretty cool, but Marvel villains don't ever, like, use them right. You know, they always end up yelling at somebody for them to do something when, like, they are seemingly stronger than whoever is going up against them. Like, I don't get it. Like, Marvel villains are always, like, pretty good from a narrative's perspective, but when it comes to, like, tactics and stuff like that, like, they just lose all sensibilities and just go with Timber Tantra, bro. I don't get it. But I really enjoyed, like, the world building in this movie. Things like the Guardians having a new home on nowhere and getting to see all the interactions and the relationships between the cast like for me i think mantis and Drax stole the show they are my favorite duo now but one thing i'm still like foggy on is just the like vitality of the guardians like i still can't really tell how strong everybody is and they continue to do stuff that's just like i didn't even know they could do that you know even though like i get it it's a gag movie but it's like how durable can you be especially at the end with star lord bro i ain't gonna tell you what happened but just if you know you know now i love the way that this movie ended as far as like everybody kind of going their separate ways because that combined with you know rocket storyline and star lord's depression arc the, there was definitely enough feelings to go around and you definitely like will probably need some space after going through an ordeal like that with your peoples like it, it makes sense to me that that is the next course of action but what it really helped me realize was what makes Guardian special. And that is because it's all about the ebbs and flows of friendships and relationships while simultaneously saving the galaxy with laughter and music. Like, I'm going to be honest, bro. I really think I would enjoy Guardians better if it was more of a like long running show than a movie. Now, I know that might be crazy, but that's just kind of how I feel after watching this movie and you know this was a great way to end the trilogy and a, a dope send off for james gunn and all that's left now to do is rate this thing so the g file score for guardians of the galaxy volume three is an eight it's an eight but it's an inconsistent eight because at times this movie felt like a seven like it felt really mid at those like talking head portions but then two seconds later it would just shoot up to like a nine ten like i can't believe what i'm watching right now so i'm gonna leave it at an eight because i can't deny that it was a good movie and i enjoyed a lot of it so let me know what y'all thought of it in the comment section below if you want to hear a longer conversation about this with me and uh the homie chrissy light on the why i'm geek show definitely tune into the podcast they're on youtube or on your favorite audio platforms make sure you hit that like button hit the subscribe button everything's at genato reviews you want to see more of my content i'm holla next one man y'all be easy you know the vibes always keep going see going to see your g i'm gone